connection to us to guide us as human beings. So it makes no sense that he creates all of us and just simply says, get on with it and I'll see you in a few thousand years and I'll judge you. But, but I won't send you guidance. That makes no sense. He, he, he's there to guide us. But he put us in a condition where there's, there's people dying and yeah. there's children suffering. Like, yes. Why would, in, why would you be always innocent that like you made people that they, the little kids, they ain't even done nothing. Yes. There's so many things happen to our kids and our youth that it's, within, it's not in within our control and that, yeah? So why would he put all of that and then we say, oh, don't question or don't ask that? No, no, we can question. That's not the... Yeah. I think you're, uh, my friend over there's laying down over there. I, I spoke to him about that and he had the same issue. Yeah. Like, it's called, it's commonly referred to as the problem of evil. So, the problem of evil, therefore, he because it, evil. because God essentially is, has power over everything, yeah. the non-believer the non will say, then why doesn't he stop evil things happening or bad things happening? Like, like you mentioned, you know, starvation, famine, disease, hunger, whatever. So why, because what we say is that this life is a test. We are going to encounter calamities, difficulties, and it's the test on us of how we pass through that. Do we still acknowledge God? I was saying to the same guy earlier on, that you know the people who have suffered the most, they're still prepared to give the most. If they've got nothing in their pocket, they'll find something to give to you if you ask for them. The ones who have loaded, they don't give, even though they've been endowed with much wealth. So what it basically is, we're only here for a limited time. We're temporary. The hereafter is eternal. Okay? How do, how do we know that? How do we know that? Because we can be sure that if there's a creator, and he's created us in a miraculous way, that we're even here in the first place is a miracle in itself. Okay? So then for, to anyone to then say, oh, how can we then have a... a, a, a the fact we, uh, we're here in the first place shows that we can be recounted for our actions. Now, it comes nominally to the worship of, and, and an acceptance of God, first of all. So I think by common consensus, when we have discussions with atheists, we ask them a simple question. A universe from nothing, does that make any sense? No, nope, there had to be something. So when the universe came into existence, because that's what it boils down to, my friend, yeah. it's the existence of God. Why does God allow these things to happen? Because this life is temporary and we're going to be judged by our actions and according to that. So as I said, those who encounter terrible difficulties or calamities in their life, if they can persevere and acknowledge their Creator and humble themselves, a reward for them is so incomprehensible in the hereafter, which yeah, is an but, eternal abode. But this, that, that's your opinion. Yes. Because you know yeah. no one has been there, yeah. got rewarded and come back. So yes. That's so yeah. that's an opinion of something. That's what I said. So the documents that we have here that we're presented with, like they've all been dated. So Islam is only 1500 years old, Christianity 2000. Before that, and we could go all the way back to even that, even if we go back to Kemet, with 6,000 years old documents, they're still man made documents speculating the journey that we will take after we go from here. So no one knows it. See what I'm saying? Yeah, see, so what it, we can speculate. Yes. And, it, and it's all good. It sounds yeah. good. Yes. That, ah, oh, yeah, we would be, but nobody knows. Okay. So, like, if, we, if we, we just have to, I think, do good and good will follow you. You're happy with the now. Stay in the now, bro. Like, we're, we're here. And it's the only journey that we will know. So we just try and walk a righteous journey rather than try to pinpoint which uh, road you should be following because the Almighty created us with the instruction like love conquers everything. If it, regardless of, of what you follow, love conquers everything. So just just operate on the fact that do good and good and follow you. Like, that's, that's, that's the most you could do. That's a very observant. If, if, if everything else. We're just speculating, or we're just guessing what could be, or what should be. Yes, no. Or what, what was there. It's a very, it's a very intelligent so, and observant point uh, on your part. Me, that, that, that makes sense what you're saying. I mean, I respect that what you're saying. Yeah, but what I'm saying to you as well is that the, it should always resonate with you. One thing when you say that where is the evidence for it? We haven't seen it. If you just counter that slightly, but look back as to the point I made. The fact we're here in the first place in itself, yeah. it's it's just too much design in place for then to say. But the argument, if you, if you go around to the end of it, it's a belief in God, you see. And because we're here in the first place, it, and it's a miracle we're here. And it's not that beyond the miracle that we will be recreated by our Creator and judged. Now you will again say, well, where's the evidence for that coming event occurring? And I'll say, go backwards, and this is an example. The fact that we're here in itself is the evidence that we can be recreated.
You understand? It makes sense, doesn't it? Because in the same sense that if, if an atheist says a universe is, was just, for example, okay, we say as theists, as people who believe in God, you tell us anything that you know which can come from nothing. They can't say, they can't no, give that, listen, something, yeah. Listen, we're not disputing the fact that something had to be, right? Yes. The fact that we try to, to label or name it and give it all these different attributes where, like, if it came from a source in itself, it would have provided you with information to say, this is me, I created, it would have come like that. But the fact that we're having a different document that contradicts each other, and filled with contradictions and different opinions, like, it just shows that, look, man created most of the documents that we have today. You understand? And man ain't perfect. So yeah. you can't have a perfect person, an imperfect person, Created something that's perfect. You see what I'm saying? So yes. We, 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 all, we, can, we can go through the documents and I can pinpoint them, I can pull them apart, I can show you, like, hey, this is how it came about. You understand what I'm saying? So when you check the, the, the uh, chronological order of how things came about, yeah, we can say, okay, you know, it, it, just our uniqueness alone says, yes, there is, but to give it a name or to give it these attributes or to create, say, oh, this is the true way or this is the way. Then we're just speculating and uh, misleading. I think. I think personally. you know. Yeah, but so, so in essence, from what I understand, you're saying is that is that we're all having our different understandings of who that creator is, and the, therefore speculation is as a result of our differing beliefs. But what I say to you, in commonality, we should all believe in this this one creator. Why? Because it makes perfect sense that if there were many other creators, there would be a conflict of interest. Even the creator himself said there's other creators. See what I'm saying? But in the According sense, the words. According to documents, you see what I'm saying. But there are other where, where where say I'm not familiar with those documents which say that there are other creatures. Because if you're a god, right? Yes. And you're telling me, yeah. look, don't worship that god. Right. Or don't worship. You're, it, you're the creator himself is acknowledging. No, I'll tell you what that god. is. No, but, but yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. That just, yeah, yeah. If I'm using logic yeah, 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 itself, yeah. I'm acknowledging that oh, there is something else in like in in effect. But I'm saying even that I'm saying. We're not even sure on this one because in natural element, because nature in itself shows you how God works, if you want to say. So nature in itself, and the fact that we even try to give him a masculine um, energy alone state. Like, it's, it's, God, is, it's, in a, in a, God is not that like masculine. It, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But most times, most people try to give it a masculine yes. vibe or a masculine yes. energy to that sense. And I'm saying, even when you want to look at it, it's, bro, it's, there had to have been, the way we come together and make, create ourself in itself where it's like, you know, it, it wouldn't have pop out. Of, so for me, it's not a miracle in that sense, man. Right? See what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying, it's, yeah. It's a beautiful creation. Yes, a, sometimes so, we get, we, <coughs> we stop focused on the beauty of it, and then we try to then narrowize and, and so just very just very briefly, so you know, in, in just giving you an understanding of the first point that you made when God said there were other gods, that's because humans made their belief in other creation as God. When God it was always understood as one supreme being, but humans then made imagery or other creation as God. This is what happened in the Bible, this is what happened with Christianity. They made a man called Jesus as God when the man did not make the claim of being God. Are you following what I'm saying to you? Yeah. So same thing in the other scriptures, they make their major protagonists as forms of deity when they didn't make that claim. So that's when God says to them, you understand what I'm saying to you? So it's not actually referring to those deities as God, but rather what people have made them as gods. Does that make sense? Makes sense. So what I'm saying to you, that once again, we go back to the singularity, that one supreme being who's created everything from the metaphysical. 13.8 billion years ago, the universe came into existence. Whatever, what it was a supernatural event that occurred, it would have required a conscious mind, a conscious will, because from nothing comes nothing. No, I, I agree with that. Like, it, 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 there could have been nothing. Exactly. There must have been, been something to initiate it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and that but then, yeah. When we try to then pinpoint what that thing is, then we get lost in the translation. You understand? Along the way, because remember uh, how God, God first started off, right? If you only go back 6,000 years, God started off as a female. As a sorry? As a female deity. Uh, but the first ever worship of any deity. I know, that's what I say, research bro. God, first ever deity there's ever been worship, God was a female first. What, what deity is that? Um, 
If you go back past Kemet, six up before, just before Kemet, because I had the information travel up the Niles, right? If you go just before Kemet, you will see that the first ever worship that we ever had of any person would have been a female version. When the first, when the European came, then they said, "Listen, hey, um, we don't agree with that." And then it, it was changed into like a, a masculine. It, it took away from that because they didn't see they sell women as possession. You understand what I'm saying? That's, and then, yeah. and then it, it, it took control. But that's what I said. You would have to go and place everything in a colon. You see, our belief is that God is not like His creation, so He's not masculine or feminine. <laughs> are you following me? God, we are His creation, well, we be, are masculine, or we he, are feminine. He has to be both if you're going to have to say that for Why creation does, to happen. No, for, but God doesn't have to. Pro, God doesn't procreate that like we do. Yeah, but no. Listen, your explanation of God is from a man's pinpoint. Yeah, you so, so, yeah so because so, it, so, so we don't know. But I'm saying if there was, if uh, if there, yeah. it would have been, it would have have to be both. Then you see what I'm saying? Because uh, of, no. even if we would, even when we started off, you see how they took out. Yeah. If the, 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 the even the Trinity yeah. was man, woman, and child. Yes. And then they took out the Trinity and put Holy Spirit, replaced it with Holy Spirit. Yeah. And then gave the Holy Spirit a masculine um, energy. Well, the, the Trinity was something which was a concept arrived in the second, yeah, third century of the Greek Roman they're, they're world. All, yeah, but that was concept. not. To, yeah, it was they're to do with concept. So yeah, everything that we follow here yes. are all concept, man-made concept. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. so we don't know. Yeah. That's, that's, all, that's all I've got so far from my studies, bro. Is that we actually don't know? Okay, and so we're just speculating. okay, so our, our narrative would then be, in, you know, just to give you some information, and that is that God is unlike His creation in any way, shape, or form. He's totally beyond creation. He's created us as His creation, but He's unlike His creation. So He's so magnificent, so vast, so incomprehensible. That, for example, as me and you were speaking about, if I put my hand out to you, what have we got between us? We got time, matter, space, energy. That's all the concept as a result of the Big Bang occurring. What was there before that singularity when the universe came into existence? In no you don't believe in the Big Bang. Yeah, no Big Bang so you don't believe the universe came into existence? It, it, it didn't come into existence like how we're, we're, we're portraying it. This how Big Bang, this Big Bang idea. Because remember, at one point in time, all the plates was together before the separation. All the plates, the moon, even. I think, I think if we go and do the research in itself, genuine research you get a better understanding to what is and how we came about. You understand what I'm saying? It, it, it took a time. It, it might know. I mean, it, they tried to they call it a Big Bang and, and, and they ran with that theory in school, but I don't believe they, they actually are. Uh, I think all the Big Bang tries to speculate is that there was a point of a singularity which, you know, was compressed into a singularity, then it went forth, expanded forth, like much like a balloon when you blow a balloon. So that's how the universe then came into existence and it exploded in essence and then all the various elements went forth. So that's the scientific understanding at, at, the, at the current moment in time. But in terms of, science can go only as far as in, ter in terms of its empirical proof. But what we need further to that is a, universe, is a creator who's created the universe in essence, you see. A, one, a necessary independent being, because the universe is composed of parts, you see. So it would have had some elements within there already, so forces of nature which would have allowed it to come together. So it's not um, independent, it's dependent on these parts. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So something external to that would have caused these parts. That was what we understand as God, you see. So, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, for me personally... So we'd have to go straight to the, like, the very earliest yeah, point, yeah, right, which like, means comprehensible. You can't, you can't... Like, even if you try to separate God from his creation, then you're doing his creation injustice by saying he's not part of that. Now, what we say is he, he's, he's, he's part of it in terms of his knowledge and will. Like, he, just like, for example, you get someone watching the CCTV and he knows everything that's happening, every little leaf that drops, everything that moves. So, but he doesn't, he's, he doesn't compel himself to be within his creation because that limits God as well. Because God is so vast, I mean, if you look at the ma mag magnificence and the, and the enormity of the universe, but it's still I infinitely limited because science tells us at the moment that the universe, although it's vast, is still limited, although it's still expand it's still going forth. But it must have come from a singular point in order for it to have um, come into existence. So even God is beyond even that, I even the mind-bogglingly incomprehensible. You know that like we estimated something like two trillion uh, galaxies in the in the known universe. Okay, so. Where did it all, so these, na these natural forces which are already there, they would have had these, the laws of nature or the laws of um, the physics would have been placed in there 
universe was put it together in parts, something external must have put those places in part because God would be by necessity um, a necessary being who is independent and, it, and it could, the universe could have existed in another way. The fact that it hasn't existed in another way shows us that there's a design behind it in every way, shape or form. I hope that makes sense. Makes sense. Good man. I am. And I, am. I mean, the question is still going unanswered, but it's better to believe in something than to, to not believe in something. So Can I offer you a free copy of the Quran, my friend? It's a journey, man. Would you like a free copy of the Quran in English? I've got one. I've got you got one. one. Have a good yeah, read of it. Yeah, You're a really nice, really nice guy. Thanks very much. I'll read it. Okay. Um, I, I think in, within each. Because you have to understand here. Yeah? He doesn't have the power to separate the documents and say, ah, bam, here is one. So man will always continue to make documents to try to explain. You understand? So if you want to get an understanding, you have to read every document just to get mm. a snippet of what this creator could be yeah. or what he's capable of. It. So yeah, but like, like I said, for me, for, we, then we go into the realms of the philosophy. It's called the philosophy of science, you see, where you delve into these matters of the metaphysical and then you try to impart the knowledge, like which I've tried to explain to you, like a necessary being who is independent, who is self-sufficient, who is not made of parts, who is, um, uh, it could, that the universe could have been another way. The fact that it's this way shows that something independent of that set of things must have been a creator, you see. And that makes sense, it could only be one singular being. It can't be like 50, 60 gods. Just imagine, we have, just say we had 50, 60 different creators. And the creators come into dispute with each other on regards to an issue. Who has overall say? Who has overall authority? There can only then be one who is supreme above all, you see. So that is what, why we say one. It makes yeah. philosophical sense, you see, when you use your cognitive. Uh, maybe, but I don't think it, it, it could have been one. Why? Huh? Why do you say that? Because I try. Because nature, yeah, is a big representation of what the creator is. In the sense that he's created everything, yeah. So if he created faculties of creation, yeah. One, he created two things. Yes. And within that two things, you have to get one. Yes. Because if you go trace all your parents all the way back, it started off with two of them. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, just that alone in its sense, where we're saying, listen, if we go back and we trace it and we say that God started off as a female, yeah. and then all of a sudden, we saw the switch where he went from a female into a, a, a masculine energy, then we're saying at some point in time, there had to have been uh, a mixture where it couldn't have been just one. You see, so I'll repeat that again. Because we are humans, we procreate, we got ma we got males and we got females. Yeah. So that's why we're absorbed with this point. But the point I made is God is not masculine or feminine. Yeah, he's beyond that. He's not like a man. He's not a man or a woman. No, I'm saying, look, we can all, I'm saying, even if we want to go concept, yeah, but it had to be both. If you want to put in concept, because now, because what we're doing is, we're singular and we're saying, listen, it's a single person. He was out there. Single being, and, yeah. Yes, yeah, a single being, and he was out there. And, and I'm like, even that concept alone, I feel like it's a bit off, because it couldn't have been single. I personally, I think it couldn't have been single, because that's beca yeah. because. How can you create something, okay, your children is a representation of you. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Like that. So why would I call myself a child of God if I don't, if I'm not a representation of him? Um, in the sense that God so, creates... So because you're saying, you're saying uh, a, a single being was out there yes. and he decided to put something together yes. and think. But yeah, yes. what you're forgetting is that even in your Quran, put in the Bible, in in the Torah, he added his breath, he added he added something into this, he breathed life into something. That's yeah. just that, that creation version. You understand what I'm saying? He added a part of him yes. into creation. Yeah. So what, what, you, yeah. how you want to look at it. Yeah. So what we say is not part of him in essence of his supreme being, but okay. rather he instills by his expression or his word, like you mentioned, yeah. and there, for example, God's word expresses itself and then it Come, it comes into creation, like the Quran and the Bible where God says, when I simply will something, I say be and it is. So it's that simple for God, you understand? So yeah, that's the main thing. Anyway, it's been great speaking to you. You take care of yourself. Uh, you take care. Bye-bye.